Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, hello, my name is Jerrica and welcome to my new setup. We're gonna be reacting to the craziest moments on my favorite reality TV show of all time. You cannot convince me otherwise. So it's the flashback compilation and I don't think they're going in order of which season. So if you watch all of the seasons of Little Women in LA, you will know exactly at what point of time these arguments took place. And if you're just here for the drama, just watch everything unfold, be my guest but we're just gonna hop right into this because it's it's too good too good to be true okay look i mean what over nothing over nothing Why? goodbye this one your best friend i don't even understand you oh my god you don't want to eat it i told you i didn't want her to come all of these women claim that they hate the word and everything that it represents. But when Christy makes a disgusting video celebrating that disgusting word, I'm the bad guy. No, you're a vindictive okay. You're such a can, can, hypocrite. You know what? You can we talk about how Tara literally, <laughs> actually Tanya, everybody should be getting on Tanya during this fight, okay? Because Tanya was the one who went to Tara, which this completely blew my mind because I never really understood why she did it. But Tanya was the one who went to Tara, showed her the video of Christy, who took part in a music video where she had to say the M word, which is a derogatory term, derogatory term to little people. And then Tara blew it up on her social media. That just caused the whole group to be like, okay, Tara, what, like, WTF, like, why did you do that? <laughs> In my opinion, they were arguing with the wrong person because Tanya was the one who started all of this and just sat back and watched. Of course, she had her little two cents and stuff, but Tanya was the real instigator of this whole situation. You can't tell me otherwise. She came up and reposted. No. Versus Matt. No, listen. I, she shut up. No. She reposted. Shut up. Get down. No, shut up. I don't want to hear it right now. Shut up for a second. Stop. Okay, now she want to play peacemaker. You want to move forward, Tanya, but you're the one who showed the video. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. I think it's so hypocritical because you could have saw the video, went on with your day, and everything would have been PG, but no, you have to show Tara. No, and Tara's a hot mess. Tara was in 99.9% .9 of the drama all seasons. Okay, all seasons, and I loved it. <laughs> Tell me when I'm wrong. No, you tell me I when I'm wrong, wrong, and I'm telling you. I, I, she tried to send me to jail. She no, did. She tried to send okay. me to jail. That unintelligent you piece of crusty. I'm telling you to jail. I don't give a I'm not. Tara, you she tried Tara. to make it happen. Get she down with me. Get down. Get down. Tara, get your together. You know you're wrong. You're just too bullheaded to admit it. I don't even want to deal with her. And if y'all are all going to have her back this whole trip. I'm not Tara, even about that life. Tara, but it is hard to have your back when you do like that. You like what? You I can't stand behind mind. not being a kid. I'm sorry that you're okay with that. I am not I'm okay with that. Okay with I am not okay, okay with why that. Why you support her? Why? Can, can we just talk about how Jasmine looks like the Latino version of uh, Kim Kardashian? Can we just, can we just talk about that? She came on and she looked, she was stunning, okay? I still think she looks stunning with thin lips, but then I guess she became best friends with Elena and then Elena said, hey girl, you want some lip fillers? I'm pretty sure lip fillers are pretty cheap. I don't know. I No, that's Botox. Botox is like $50, right? I'm not sure how much lip fillers will be. I bet my bottom dollar that Elena was like, you know what would amplify your look? Bigger, juicy lips. And here is my doctor. She's a girl. girl. It's just not worth it. What if we all do a group reading? For okay, so they are going to talk this. Rihanna needs to stop pushing this whole psychic thing. Tracy, Christy, and I, we're all religious. We don't want to mess with this stuff. Christy, Todd, you guys gonna come? No. Why don't you want to go? You know, I, I grew up in the church. I mean, I totally get where they're coming from. It's like psychics, voodoo, that, that's all the devil's work. And Brianna in this whole situation just didn't understand. So, you know, if you, if, yeah, okay. We're, I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I believe it's the work of the devil. Going to a psychic who casts spells, messes with voodoo, it's like flirting with the devil. I'm sorry, Brianna, but I have to put my faith before our friendship. Hello. Oh, hey. Hi. Did you have fun? Yeah, it was great. I want to tell you guys all about it. 
Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear that. So I didn't want to go to the place. I don't want you bringing the place here. OK, but I'm not trying but to. I don't want to hear it. We feel that it. And that's fair. I mean, I'm, I feel like her delivery could have been a bit better, you know? It's kind of like, hey, Brianna. But Brianna is hard headed anyway. She could have been like, hey, Brianna, you know, due to religious reasons, you know, I, I don't really want to mess with that stuff. I really don't even want to be around it. I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you had a fun time. But all in all, I, I just really don't even want to hear about it. How, how are you and Matt's relationship, huh? How are you guys doing? I know you just recently met. Are you moving in together? What's going on here? That's what she should have just flipped the whole conversation to something else. You see what I'm saying? Instead of being like, no, no, I don't want to hear it in this thing. Like, I don't want to. It's like, once you shut people down like that, especially a person like Brianna, she's going to fight her way to let you know what she has to say. So <laughs> that's when things come from an evil spirit. Oh, I want to hear it. Okay, well, then y'all go in y'all room. I was here first. Okay, mommy. I don't want to hear it. She just tried to find the people who want to hear okay, it. She's like, we, okay, I go. got it, Tanya. But you're not the only one sitting on the couch. She tried to, yes, but she, maybe she was talking to Todd. Like, okay, you don't want to hear this. It's fine. I mean, I thought I was doing something nice. I actually got you some gifts. Excuse me? Any but kind of... <laughs> she said, excuse me? Excuse me? Honey, did she just say she got me a gift? Yeah, bae, I know you told said, her, dog. Like, you don't want that stuff. You got me a gift? Yeah, girl, I got you these fertility brooms because I know you was having problems conceiving, so I just wanted to help you out in that department, you know? Okay, no, no, oh. this ain't gonna work. I'm going to go to my room. Did you keep the receipt? If you kept the receipt, take the receipt, take that gift on back, get your money back. Oh, oh my God. God. I don't want to know. I don't care. Oh, my and God. And I got this for you. You don't want to see it. I don't, but I don't these are see. so I don't positive. They're fertility brooms. Why don't people understand what we're saying? This is our last night in Placerville, and Elena is being a total buzzkill. I just don't get you. Like, when we got to the hotel, you didn't like it because it wasn't clean enough. And now, if y'all saw that hotel, that thing, I don't know how much they were paying. If it was $600 a night, honey, you need to ask for your money back. <laughs> okay, you need to ask for the money back. And plus it was haunted. You have freaking doors closing by themselves, noises everywhere. Honey, don't even talk to me about that hotel. No. I'm with Elena on that one. Mm-mm. Ain't about to do it. Nope. <laughs> nope. And then he didn't go with us to the gun range. And man, I did not want to go. Christine, I didn't want to go because I was so tired. He could put me in the old hotel. That was very exciting to spend the night Do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? Freaking out about every Do you know what noise. this is? This is the smallest little violin that's playing that's for you. Wee wee. Christy, when I'm having guests coming over to my house, I'm trying to make them feel as comfortable as possible. I'm You're not having... comfortable at no, all. No, Christy, you, you sitting are the here and fishing the about. The moment we got here, you were just like. So what, Christy? Since when you your best friend? You I This is not worth my time, and I'm tired of pretending it is. Good luck getting a taxi! I am so glad. Okay, number one, Tara was absolutely killing that outfit. Head to toe. The plaid, the red, the boots, everything about that, the hair, the lip. Okay, everything about the outfit was on point, okay. Secondly, I feel like, again, it's like with the first argument, you can be on either side, especially if you guys know what relationship Mika and Elena had had at the beginning. Mika thought Elena was being pretentious, kind of like a snob or whatever. Elena was kind of like, you just met me. And then I guess at this point when that argument took place, they were trying to build on the friendship because, hey, we're all little people. We want to stay connected. We want to stay strong. We want to be there for each other, okay? And I guess Tara was always taking notes of Elena because their relationship was on rocky, rocky turf. At the Christy introduced me to Ali. Her energy is a breath of fresh air. I know she's here to have a really good time, unlike some of the other girls who are still questioning my relationship. I'm sorry, every single I... time I see Brianna, 
I just feel sad. I feel every time I see Brianna, I know it's not me. I just feel sad. Even though she's doing good right now, she has her family that she's always wanted. I just feel sad. Look at that. She looks sad. She looks pitiful. She looks old. That That is not the look you want to go for once you just got married and you're trying to share in your marital bliss. Matt was a whole train wreck. A whole train wreck. A whole train wreck. Just feel you're still hiding something. I told the girls they should only come on this trip if they support my marriage. But Tanya made it clear that she still doesn't support my marriage and that some of the other girls don't either. The only reason I'm still here is for Jasmine. She planned this whole bachelorette party for me and I don't want to ruin her trip too. Why are you so quiet, girl? Good. You okay? I have mixed emotions over the whole weekend. What, what, do, you, what do you feel about the weekend? Um. We all came here for what I thought was to celebrate that I'm having a wedding. And it was brought to my attention that not all the girls feel very in a celebratory mood. They're actually being dishonest with me. I want to ask you, like, who told you about who else were talking behind your back? Who was that? Um, Allie Kate brought it to my attention. She it's said all you had to do was talk about us. That's really? what Ali said. Okay. Ali said all you I did said talk about. No. Yes, you did. How dare this chick that we barely even know come uh -huh. here and then spread rumors about she doesn't even know about. Listen, listen. I did I not say Who are you? Who are you? Who I think she's been in an episode before this. What is her title? I mean, her name is Ali. That's all we know about her but she literally inserted herself in the drama because she was making observations and sharing her opinion on those observations to Brianna, who already is the most easily persuade person in the group. Think about me, and I don't know if we can, we can share this. I don't know what it is about me, but people will literally come up to me and tell me their deepest, darkest secrets. But they will tell me things that it's kind of like, I'm sitting there and I'm like, why are you telling me this? This is something meant for your therapist but obviously you don't have the money to pay for it, so here I am. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is about me. Is it my face? Is it my aura? Um, even, even my closest friends have told me secrets and straight up, I've forgotten. I've forgotten. People might think I'm Pandora's box and if you get me to talk, I might spill all the juice and the deets. Point blank period, I don't remember anything you will tell me. Like we, we could be having a conversation and in like 2.5 seconds, I'll forget what I said in the conversation. That's how forgetful I am, okay? I don't know if that's a condition. Somebody diagnosed me. I don't know. And I said all that to say that Allie was an observer. She saw little things that were happening in the group that didn't quite add up, and she brought those to Brianna. But being that she wasn't in the group, she doesn't know each situation for herself. She was looking at it from one lens it wasn't her place to speak on. And in turn, she ruined relationships because of her observations, which is basically what I was trying to say. People come to me, I make observations, things come to my ears that I don't quite understand. But if I insert myself into other people's situations, just because I observed a moment in time, that could ruin everything. So that's what I was trying to make a point on. To anything, you need to go back home. I am not here for I'm you. I'm invited here, here by else. Jasmine I came and here Brianna. I don't have and to go home. That lie. I don't have to go so, home. You, you guys are so are the little one. right now. Okay. I'm trying to build my a relationship with Brianna, party. and for you to that up, you are up. Okay. You are up. Bachelor. Goodbye. Goodbye. No, I'm not leaving. They Goodbye. invited me here. I'm I don't leaving. have to leave. Waiting a minute. Then Tracy jumps in. Lila, if y'all don't know about Lila, child, Lila was the juice. <laughs> Lila was the hurricane. Hurricane Lila. They should have something called that because Lord Jesus, this argument right here, this this argument right here, iconic. This bitch got me up. You got me twisted. We're in a nice restaurant. Sweetheart, sweetheart. I was trying to give you the, I was trying to be cordial to you. I was you are as chilly as the Arctic. You just called me this one and I was like totally on your side. I don't girl. even understand but, you. Girl, look at you. Look at you. I don't even, I don't look even like you. Girl, look at you. Girl, look at you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> she 
went from zero to 100 real quick, okay? She, she said, I'm going to give you the same energy back. I'm going to. I'm going to match your vibe, sis. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, right. no, 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 no. But she, this girl don't know me. She don't know me. How come you're allowed to yell? Ain't nobody gonna talk loud. You're talking loud. You're fake and you phony. Just relax. And you came over here. You came out here to try to get yes, with I Joe. Did. And that fell. I don't want that, that beady eye bastard. It, it, that that Not according to your text a month ago. Anyways, you're pregnant. Yes. Listen that mouth. Don't talk about my boyfriend ever. Good job. You got the prize. You got the prize. You got his baby. I know, and you're super jealous. I can totally tell. Let it go and get your honky ass back to New York. No. Tanya, don't even you get her what? the time of day. Oh, Tanya, listen. Tanya, you touch me, girl. I'm not touching you. touch me. Honey, this was just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> If y'all remember couples retreat, Lila was sitting in that chair and Tanya was like, okay, you gonna come on my trip? I paid for all of this and you gonna disrespect me? Yoink, right up out the seat. Child, if y'all don't know, just look at couples retreat, Tanya and Lila, and you will see what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. Yoink. Why are you in my face? I'm it, walking away. Because, because I just want you to know, sweetheart, your, you breath, your breath smells, smells like, like Moscato. Thank you very much. All right, let's walk I'm away. I'm not going to touch her. I'm like not going to. I am. I'm trying to leave. Walk away. Walk away. Walk nasty ass breath in my face. Oh, dang it. Add a thirsty ass more. back to New York. Mika loves the crazy wow factor when it comes to prank. So I think that this definitely has a crazy wow factor. But of course, I would never let Mika actually pee in something I'm about to be serving to Tanya. Like, I'm crazy, but I'm not like Mika crazy. Ladies! Hey. Wow. Wow. Finally got some drinks to this table. This whole thing was stupid. This whole thing was stupid. That's, that's all I have to say. This whole situation, stupid. Dumb. I'm not gonna say the other one, excuse me. I had to bring him. You know what, this is really nice of Mika. She's right, we are here to celebrate our friendships. And sometimes friends say stupid things, but we gotta keep forgiving people every day. Thanks, Mika. You're welcome. So all these are kind of like margaritas, except Tanya's. Tanya has the most sterile drink, because I peed it. <laughs> oh, bitch, you got me up. <laughs> You didn't pee your mama on the drink. <laughs> no, you did not. You, you peed in her drink? Oh. I would throw that drink in her face. You, why are you peeing mama on the drink? Because <laughs> it's a prank. Prank my mama ass. You don't <laughs> prank me like that. You do not prank me like that. If you got the balls to piss in my drink, don't be a bitch and run away. That's not cool, Tara. Are you guys for real? Personal okay, y'all. Like right now, Tanya's pissed. Chill the out, okay? It's not pee? Yeah. Why the f you do that to me? Uh -huh. I didn't do that to you. We don't roll like that. This is crazy. We don't roll like that. You the wrong mother bitch. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> that with you. Tell me. You know what? Y'all need to cut these mother cameras off because I, this is some fool. Y'all need to cut these mother cameras off. You know what? I'm out of here. <laughs> I do not want to catch a mother case. Oh. oh, hi, girl. Mm. Mm. You, you know what you? Mm. I don't, look, you, I mean, what? 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 Over nothing. I, I, over nothing. Over yeah. nothing. How much do you like trust me as a friend? What do you mean, girl? It was, it, it was all fake. She never pissed in your. Because that is that is all the way disgusting, and the most childish thing you could ever do. Especially if we out having a good time, you know, feeling the vibes, and you decide to ruin it with a prank that only one person laughed at, Todd. Everybody else was, everybody else was like, what the crap? What is this, third grade? And then asked me, do you, do you trust me as a friend? If you are my friend, you would have told me before the whole thing went down. You know I'm an actress. I could play that off. I could be like, Oh my god! <laughs> I'll be like, oh my god, 
Girl, you did not just piss in my drink. Girl, I can play fake mad. You don't want to get me real mad, though. You don't want the real mad. Drink. There's no DNA Tara, of Mika in your you soul. Don't, you, you don't. No, you don't do that to your friend. Shut up. I would never in a trillion years let you drink piss. And the fact that you believed it, I was just like, all right, well, let's see how this plays out. Why her ass didn't come tell me? Oh, Tanya, I'm just playing. I'm just. She let me go the f off and, and and freaked out. You could have had a UTI and all in these. <laughs> you don't f do that. So wonder if I would have had a heart attack. O M to the G <laughs> or stroke. Nobody's trying to give you a heart attack. Nobody's trying to stress you out. It was a joke gone wrong. She thought that y'all would just blow it off like it would be funny. Ha 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 hell. I'm going to bed. Let me tuck you in. No. Let me cuddle. No. Night. All right. But yeah, that was the craziest vacation fights. And that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully these leaves weren't too distracting. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you in my next video. Okay. Bye.